It is hard to pick the most notable lies of Donald Trump's presidency because there are just so many lies. But I've thought hard about it and I've narrowed the list to four that I think really tell us a story. I think it's obvious what the most dangerous lie of the Trump presidency was. Really, it was a family of lies. It was his lies about COVID-19. There was the lie that the virus that is much deadlier than the flu was equivalent to the flu. This is a flu. This is like a flu. The lie that the pandemic situation, which was always out of control, was, quote, totally under control. We have it totally under control. And there was the lie that he repeated dozens of times that the virus that was spreading more and more widely was disappearing. It is disappearing. All of these claims suggested to Americans that they didn't have to change much about their behavior, and many of them did not. Now, we can't quantify how things would have been different had the president been more honest, but we're at more than 390,000 American deaths. And it's more than reasonable to venture that at least some of them would have been avoided if Trump had told the truth. Hey, where are the fact checkers? You know, some of the most dishonest people in media are the so-called fact checkers. It has generally been pretty depressing fact checking every word from Donald Trump for four years. I think the single most depressing lie is his lie that he is the actual winner of the 2020 election. I've been in two elections, I won them both, and the second one, I won much bigger than the first, okay? Now, it's depressing because of how egregious it is. It's a straight up is down reversal of verifiable reality. But it's even more depressing because of how many millions of Trump supporters believe it's the truth and how deadly and destabilizing we're now clear that false belief can be. I think the saga of this particular lie has taught us that the nation's truth problem goes far beyond a Trump problem. It is a long-term problem for the United States that millions of citizens have fallen deep down a conspiracy rabbit hole. I don't know how to fix this. When I think about just how committed this president was to lying, I think about Sharpie Gate. You might remember what happened. Trump tweeted in 2019 that Alabama was at greater risk from Hurricane Dorian than had been originally forecast. A federal weather office in Alabama then tweeted that no, actually, Alabama would still be unaffected. And then instead of just doing a quick, easy correction, the president embarked on a frantic multi-day campaign to demonstrate that his wrongness had actually been right all along. This campaign culminated with the now iconic image of the president displaying a hurricane map that had been crudely and obviously altered with a Sharpie marker. This was kind of hilarious, but it was also alarming and telling and important. It not only showed us the lengths the president was willing to go to convince Americans of a lie, it also taught us that he wasn't some lone liar out there on his own. We later learned that top White House officials had leaped into action behind the scenes to try to bend federal weather authorities to the president's whims. In other words, Trump was backed by an entire powerful apparatus willing to fight to make his lies appear true. That is scary stuff. Now let's talk about my personal favorite lie of this presidency. It's one that Trump told more than 20 times, even though it makes absolutely zero sense. And in fact, I was in Michigan. I don't know if anybody remembers this 12 years ago. They gave me the man of the year. You remember? Donald Trump has never lived in Michigan. Why would he possibly have been named Michigan's man of the year before his presidency? He wouldn't have been. He wasn't. I looked into this. Others looked into this. It never happened. I'm so fascinated by this lie because of how it perfectly illustrates the nature of President Donald Trump's dishonesty. Other politicians sometimes lie, exaggerate, mislead to wiggle out of a scandal or to sell a preferred policy or to win an election. Trump lied about everything, the tiniest stuff. No lie was too trivial or too ridiculous to make up or to repeat and no amount of fact checking was ever gonna stop him.